All right, everyone. So this video is just going to give you a general overview of how to access RoboMind Academy um, and some general good things to remember as we're working on each um, different section or different lesson within a section. So RoboMind Academy is directly linked under class resources on Google Classroom. So um, if you'd like to bookmark the website, you can. Otherwise, you can just come here each time and access from our link on Classroom. So once you get to the website, you can put in your email and password. Remember your email, um, it's your class section and your first name with a slash and then my full email, that's your entire email, and then you have a password. Hopefully you already have that written down. If you don't, I do have them, so please make sure that you ask sooner than later um, when you realize you might not have it. All right, so once you get logged in, um, your screen may or may not look similar to this, um, but I just want to show you a few things. So there's a couple different ways to get to different courses over here on the right. You can see the different courses here, or you can just click courses up here in this black bar, whatever you prefer. We are going to spend a majority of our time in the basics one course. Okay depending on how quickly we move and what the end of the year looks like, we may branch out from here, but a majority of our time will be spent here in basics one, okay? So when you find that basics one, you can hit start, and it will bring you into the basics one course. Now, mine looks a little weird, and I have some like check marks here on the right. You probably don't have those yet because I've messed around in my account, um, but basically, in each course, right? So the course is the big picture. So this is the basic one course. There are sections within each course. So we have the getting started section, the guarding and slalom section, painting floors section, factory section, navigating section, tracking and tracing section, and line following section. So those are all the different sections. So every time you are assigned a quote unquote project um, in RoboMind, that is completing one full section. So your first section that you will do is getting started, okay? And then there are all these lessons under that section getting started, okay? So whenever we're working on a section, whatever it might be, if it's this first one getting started, or if it's down here in tracking and tracing, doesn't matter which one, you always start with the introduction and then you'll move your way through, okay? Let's start with getting started so we can just show you kind of what's going on. So just about every section starts off with some sort of introduction. Some introductions are longer than others, um, but basically what will happen is on this screen, you will see some information, okay? You will watch, you will read, whatever it gives you. When that screen is finished, you would use the arrow over here on the right to navigate to the next part, okay? And then once that's done, navigate again, navigate again, and continue to navigate until you have absorbed all of the information that they have given you. Okay, so I'm just going to click through here to get us going. Okay. Gives us some more information. You would do this a little bit slower than I'm doing it, but for demonstration purposes, we're just going to move along. Okay. You can watch a robo dance, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and there's another little video here. So that's the introduction, okay? When I hit the arrow again after that introduction, what you'll notice here, I don't know if you saw that as I was moving, but when we were doing the introduction, it said one and we were right here. Okay, so that is lesson one. That's the introduction. You didn't have to do anything for that. You just had to absorb information. Okay, now we're into lesson two. Okay, lesson number two is called getting started with RoboMind. And if you take your mouse and hover over this bar, you can see the names of each of the lessons. Um, that comes in really helpful when we are working together um, and you're like, oh, I'm on lesson number four. Um, well, sometimes what you think is for and what I think is for might not be the same thing, so usually the names help. So hovering over these with your mouse, that's how you can tell the name, okay? All right, so 
let's take a look at what we have here. So over here on the left, okay, over here on the left, actually, let me reset. There we go. Over here on the left, we have where you will do your coding. Um, so this area here, you can actually just do some writing, and this is where you will write some code, okay? As you get started, though, you're not going to have all the different um, codes or different commands memorized, right? So that's what this stuff is down here, all right? This will help you remember things. So if you want your robot, here's your robot, if you want him to go forward, if you click this, it's going to write the command in for forward, which is forward. Okay. If you wanted him to go backwards or turn right or turn left, okay, you can click all these buttons. If you want him to pick something up, if you want him to paint white, if you want him to paint black, if you want him to stop painting, um, if you want him to eat something. And then there are a list of many other commands down here that you might use. Okay. So again, this is all right here. Okay. You can either click these buttons or use this menu. And what's nice is, um, you can get rid of your code, you can undo things here, and if you just want to hide this because you start to memorize the commands and you don't want to see those buttons and you just want to type your code, you can hide that. But if you click this little, um, I call it a keypad, but it's not a keypad. Um, but if you click this little button right here, uh, it'll bring it back up or hide it for you, okay? So you're going to be writing your code here. Now, I'm going to be honest. Um, most of the time, this direction is probably enough for you, but I will tell you that if you scroll down, whoa, check this out. There's going to be more information down here for you that might clarify things. So if this, it says, let the robot pick up the beacon uh, to its lower right. So this is what a beacon looks like, this little green thing here. Here's your robot right here. Okay, and they want you to have your robot go from here to pick up this beacon. That's what it says here, but maybe this isn't enough. So what I'm going to recommend is when you guys are coding, don't forget to scroll down. Okay, sometimes they have these little pictures here, and sometimes just seeing what this picture is asking totally makes the code commands make more sense. Like, oh, that's what you want my robot to do. So use those pictures and use the information down here at the bottom to help you. All right. Um, so this is over here. So you're writing your code in this blue area, right? We talked about additional information down here, sometimes pictures that are going to help you code, okay? Um, and then let's talk about this area over here. So this area over here is what I would call your environment. Um, this is where you're going to see your robot do its thing, okay? Um, you can zoom in and zoom out. All right, so if you want to see like his whole environment, you can zoom out, you can move the environment around. Um, it has these clouds, which I find very annoying, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, you can zoom in, and let's say you zoom in, but now you can't see your robot. You can click and drag to make it a little bit better and kind of center your robot there. Um, your robot will make some noise, and the environment makes some noise. If that is not something you want to hear, you can turn your volume off over here or turn your volume on. Um, you can also increase and decrease the speed of your robot. So let's just um, write some code in here. So write forward, forward. Oops. Okay, and then right, and then forward, and then pick up. All right, so I just wrote some code in there just so we can see things. So once you have some code written in there, um, this play button will let your robot run through your code. Okay. If you do what it does, he does his little spinny spin and everything's wonderful. Okay. Now I was speaking, I kind of interrupted myself here, but I was speaking about this speed guy. So that was regular speed. If I put this on medium speed and do it again, look at how much faster my robot goes. And then if I do it on fast speed, you're barely going to even see the robot. So I recommend for these first couple lessons, keep your robot slow so you can really see what he's doing. Um, but as your codes get longer or your um, the paths that your robot takes get longer, um, you may want to explore, uh, kind of play with medium speed. Um, I find that the medium speed, as you get a little bit faster, sometimes can be helpful that you're not wasting a ton of time um, watching your robot do um, slow movements. But I will say, 
and this is going to take a little trick here. Um, so I'm going to just get my robots set up here. But look over here on um, the coding area in this blue. So right now there's a little arrow here pointing next to the number four. Okay, so that arrow is saying that my robot just completed that line of code. And if I use not the play button, because the play button is going to do everything, but if I use the smaller button next to it, what it's going to do is it's going to go line by line. And you can see that arrow moving over here. Now it's down to line five. If I click that again, line six. And if I click that again, line seven. So it's going to show me what my robot is doing step by step. So if I'm running into an issue, I can see what line of code where that issue is. So that's what that little, it's like play with the line here. It's its doing one line at a time, okay? So if my robot, like let's say instead of right here, I put left, okay? So let's look at that. Line four is right, so we went right. Line five is forward. Line six is forward. Line seven is forward, so my robot's doing good. Now if I do this again, line eight, he turns left. Now I know that's where my error is because I actually want him to go right and face the beacon. So that could be useful. And again, especially as we get a little fancier into our code, if we do it line by line, we can start to narrow down where our issues become. All right. So that's just another little helpful hint. So we've got coding area over here in the blue. This orange area is our environment where you will see your code in action with the robot. Again, scrolling down is going to be very helpful for you. Sometimes there are pictures that just make what they want out of the code um, more realistic, right? More easy to visualize because sometimes what they write up here is not enough or maybe is interpreted the wrong way. So, right, scrolling down. So, coding area blue, environment orange, scrolling down for extra information. In the light blue up here is your navigation bar. Okay. And remember, in order to move on, right, your robot's got to do that little fun dance and tell you that you did awesome. So let's just, oops, sorry, I got to reset him. There he goes. We'll speed him up a little bit. Yay, job well done. He did his little dance. So once I complete a lesson, I would hit this arrow on the right. And now I'm on to the third lesson. Okay, so your job, guys, is to go through all the lessons. Um, and while doing that, uh, complete the submission sheet. Okay, so the submission sheet um, is something that's going to be posted. Let me just find you an old submission sheet here. The submission sheet is something that's going to be blah, 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 posted on Google Classroom for each section that we do. Okay, so just to show you what this looks like. And I'm going to doctor this up for you. So um, don't panic yet, but just so we know that there's some basic information that you're going to fill out. So your name, the name of the course, and the name of the section. So this is always going to be the basics one course. So I'll be nice and I'll fill that in for you guys um, and leave that filled in for you. And then the name of the section. So the one that we were working on was getting started, right? And then lesson by lesson, you'll put in the lesson name, okay? You will copy and paste your code, and then you'll describe your code, okay? So to give you an idea of what that would look like, let's take a look at a submission sheet that's been filled out, okay? So this is what your submission sheet might look like by the time you're done. So um, name, Basics one course, getting started is the name of the section. So lesson, um, whatever the lesson is, right? You're gonna put the name of the lesson here. You're gonna put the code in here, right? Just copy and paste that over from RoboMind. So, you know, this. if this is your code, you highlight it, copy it and paste it into, whoops, your document. And then you're just going to give me um, some information that describes what this means, right? Because by itself, right, forward, 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 right, forward, forward, pick up doesn't really mean stuff. So what does that mean? What does the robot do um, with those codes? So that's where you would expand and say, okay, this takes my robot from the top left corner starting spot to the bottom right corner ending spot and picks up the beacon at the end. Um, I use basic commands of forward and right to navigate and then added a pickup at the end to snag the beacon. So that gives me a better picture of what that code does for your robot, okay? So in addition, again, to completing 
the different lessons here on RoboMind. As you complete each lesson, you will fill out the coordinating spot in your submission sheet. And that's kind of how it goes. So hopefully this video um, gives you a little bit of insight. You can always come back to this. Um, obviously, if you have other questions, we can have a conversation. But this is here for you to, you know, if you forget something or want to go back to something or watch it one or two times, um, this would help you a lot. All right, guys, I look forward to learning how to code with you.